Hi students, in this video I am going to discuss about the calculation of screening constant and effective nuclear charge by using Slater's rule. It is one of the good concept for NEET level and mains level. They are giving particular atom, for that atom valence electron valency for valence electron or else before that electron so calculate screening constant they are asking so by using Slater's rule I am going to explain three four examples so look into this first table so this table gives a very easy for calculation of screening constant so electrons in orbitals we have different orbitals S, P, D, F Suppose electron in S orbital or P orbital, S or P orbital. So screening constant values I had given. N per electron in orbital, per electron in orbital, N we have segregated into N, N minus 1, N minus 2. While explanation example you will get more idea. So first look into the table. If N electrons is there we have to select the value 0.35, N minus 1 0.85, N minus 2 1. Suppose you are going to calculate for D or F orbital. So then N, it, N same value 0.35. But N minus 1, N minus 2 no need to take just 1 1. It's easy, easy to remember. Now we can look into the example like potassium, nitrogen, silicon, sulfur, different examples. Look into this. So here I had given formula. This is Z star, Z star equal to Z minus sigma. What is Z star, Z star here? Effective nuclear charge. Effective nuclear charge. So how to calculate effective nuclear charge? Atomic number minus screening constant. How to calculate screening constant? By using the above table. So we will look into the examples. So okay, now first let us begin with easiest example that is nitrogen. What is nitrogen atomic number guys? Yes, nitrogen atomic number 7. Right? Nitrogen atomic number 7 that means Z equal to 7. Now sigma, how to calculate? What is sigma? Sigma is screening constant. How to calculate? First write electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. This is electronic configuration. How they will ask question? For nitrogen Calculate, calculate screening constant for 2p electron. Screening constant for 2p electron. In 2p, how many electrons are there? In 2p, 3 electrons are there. 3 electrons are there. For only 1 electron, we are calculating. We are calculating for only 1 electron. So, see students, screening. What is screening effect? Detailed explanation I had given periodic classification atomic radius uh, part part 1 atomic radius part 2 I have done part 2 I had given screening constant clear explanation go through that if you have any queries now briefly I am explaining here suppose this is nucleus we have different orbits different orbits see so electron is present in the last orbit the valence electron valence electron is little bit last orbit Right, so the attraction between the center of the nucleus to the outermost electron, outermost orbit, so outermost orbit, so depends on the inner electrons, depends on the inner electron, see, so this is positive charge, this is negative charge, strongly attracted by the nucleus, then what happened, here size, size decreases, right, but suppose inner electrons are present, more inner electrons are present. This inner electrons are shielding or screening by outer electrons. This electron negative charge, even outer electron also negative charge, repelling each other, repelling each other. That is nothing but shielding, covering. So now what happened? Because of this inner electrons increasing more, because of this inner electron shielding, screening, so outer electrons, outer electron that is valence electron attraction, attraction between the nucleus and particular shell it is very less very less if it is less size what happened increases inner electrons are not shielding much 
then what happened size decreases inner electrons are shielding more size increases so and that too depends on s electrons p electrons d f we have different types of electrons s electrons screens for p next to d f f is poor screening even d also poor screening so i said no already had explained this video atomic radius part to go through that now calculate here screening constant value they are asking for 2p 2p valency electron 2p electron valency electron 2p3 electron okay now segregate this one nth shell this is what n minus 1 shell we have to segregate like this okay first part completed now part 2 what we have to do 2p how many electrons 2p 3 electrons we have but 3 electrons we are calculating we are not calculating for 3 electrons only 1 electron calculating so among this th 3 electrons 1 you have to calculate for that electron you are calculating means that we are not considering that we are not considering remaining 2 electrons we are taking remaining 2 electrons so here 2 electrons now here 2 electrons totally 4 electrons, 4 electrons in the nth shell and n minus 1, 2 electrons. So, what is the table, guys? Come back to this table. See, S R P orbital nth shell means 0 0.35, n minus 1 means 0 0.85. So, 0 0.85, n minus 2, it's not there, leave it. Now, calculate. So, n electrons, how many n electrons? Actually, totally 5 electrons totally 5 electrons but we are calculating for one electron for screening constant no that electron we are not selecting remaining four electrons we have to calculate so n 4 into 4 electrons what is the value i gave guys 0 0.35 plus here n minus 1 n minus 1 how many electrons guys two electrons 2 into n minus 1 electrons what is the value i gave 0 0.85 that's it now simplify 4 into 0 0.35 plus 2 into 0 0.85 what you will get answer 4 into 0 0.35 equal to 1.4 plus 2 into 0 0.85 equal to 1.7 4 1.4 plus 1.7 1.4 plus 1.7 what is the value 1.4 so you will get here 3.1 this is what sigma this is what sigma sigma equal to this is screening constant sigma equal to 3.1 so how effective nuclear charge we have to calculate z star equal to z minus sigma so what is z value atomic number of nitrogen is 7 7 minus sigma how much we have got it here 3.1 7 minus 3.1 what is the answer guys 3.9 so like that we are going to calculate screening constant and effective nuclear charge 3.1 hope everybody clear this one so, which electron you are going to calculate, that electron we should not consider. So, remaining electrons you have to take it. Okay. So, now I am going to the explain the next question. So, look into the example. Frequently asking potassium. Atomic number 19. So, write down first Z equal to 19. How to calculate sigma? Sigma we are going to calculate. For calculation of sigma, first we have to write electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, next guys, 3p6, next 4s1. This is electronic configuration. If you know electronic configuration, the screening constant and effective nuclear charge calculation feels comfortable. Even electronic configuration videos also there in our channel. So go through the topic. Periodic classifications only I have uploaded. I have kept in playlist. Now 4S1. Look into this. For 4S1, 
they are asking to calculate. So what they, what they are asking? Z effect to calculation for 4s electron and sigma calculation for 4s electron. 4s electron. So 4s electron. How many in 4s? One electron. So finally, first you have to segregate. This is nth electron. This is what, guys? N minus one. This is what? N minus two. This is N minus three. Like this. We have to segregate first. First, this electron we are going to calculate. That electron we are calculate means we should not consider, right? So now sigma equal to. So n minus one. Totally, how many electrons? Eight electrons. N minus one means what is the table I had given? S electrons, p electrons, calculation time. What is the table? N minus one means zero point eight five. Plus n minus two. How many electrons? Eight electrons into one in the table. And n minus two, n minus three also same thing. Two into one. So now eight into zero point eight five. 8 into 0.85. What is the answer? Yes, 6.8 plus this is 8. This is 2. So 6.8 plus 10. Totally, how much value? Yes, 16.8. What we have got it here, guys? 16.8. This is what sigma. Now, once we got sigma, Z star we have to calculate Z minus sigma. What is the atomic number of potassium? 19. 19 minus screening constant value 16.8. So, finally, what we will get answer here? 2.20. This is your answer. See, very easy. But we have to remember the table. Now, next go through the third example that is sulfur that is sulfur what is the sulfur atomic number yes 16 z equal to 16 now we are going to calculate for sigma so along with me you have to work out this question so what is electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and what about this guy sulfur which family sulfur which group it is oxygen family 3s2 3p4 now screening constant for 3p electron screening constant for valency electron last electron so valency electron so 3p electron last electron we have to calculate sigma also you have to calculate z star also you have to calculate now, now segregate first. This is what guys? En. This is n minus 1. This is what? n minus 2. Right? Now, totally we have 6 electrons. Totally we have 6 electrons. But the last electron we are going to calculate screening constant. No? So, for that electron you no need to consider. No need to consider. So, remaining electrons you have to take it under consideration. Yes, n. How many? 5 electrons. 5 into here also p electrons, s p electrons only no. So the table first one s electrons. p electrons. What we have to take it 5 into nth shell means 0 0.35 plus n minus 1. Totally how many electrons? 8 into what is the table I give? 0 0.85 plus n minus 2. How many electrons? 2. 2 into n minus 2, n minus 3, 1. So now simplify this one. 5 into 0 0.35. How much answer? 1.75. Is it correct? 5 into 0 0.35. So 1.75. 8 into 0 0.85. What is the answer? Yes, 6.8 plus 2. So now simplify this one guys, you will get here answer 10.55. This is what? Sigma. Now what is our aim? So sigma and Z effective also, effective nuclear charge. So effective nuclear charge Z star equal to Z minus 16 minus 10.55. 
so you will get answer here 5.45 5 point that's all guys this is your answer you have to go for calculation like this next the most important and very frequently asking example that is zinc the last example in this video zn what is zn atomic number yes zn atomic number 30 means z equal to 30 here sigma for 4s electron and 3d electron both they are asking both they are asking now first what is the first point we have to write electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 next 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 am i right or not this is this is half bow principle according to half bow principle we have written now we have to segregate into shell wise representation then easy to calculate shell wise this is first shell and this is n equal to 2 second shell the third shell what is this 3s2 3p6 3d10 shell wise representation will come right first this one 3d10 and next one 4s2 yes they are asking for 4s electron 4s how many electrons two electrons they are asking for one electron okay so two electrons means we have to consider only for one electron now calculate how to calculate so we have to segregate into first nth shell n minus 1 n minus 2 like that this is what guys this is n this is n minus 1 this is n minus 2 this is n minus 3 right so now sigma equal to this n 4s electron we are going to calculate this 4s electron we are going to calculate two electrons we have to calculate for one electron sigma nth electron 1 into what is the value guys table 0 0.35 S electron, SRPR electrons means 0 0.35 you gave. Next, plus 2 plus 6, 8, 8 plus 10, 18. 18 into 0 0.85 plus how many electrons here? 6 plus 2, 8. 8 into 1 plus 2 into 1. So now simplify this one. 0 0.35 plus 18 into 0 0.5. 18 into 0 0.5. What is the answer? 18 into 0 0.85 you will get 15.3 plus 8 plus 2 10 okay now what is the total value here what is the total value 0 0.0 0 0.35 plus 15.3 plus 10 you will get here 25.65 this is answer for what sigma but z effective z star equal to z minus sigma so means z what is the value 30 minus 25.65 so what is the answer guys here so 4.7 right 30 minus 25.65 equal to 4.35 30 minus 25.65 4.35 this is your answer this is for what 4s electron now what i asked 3d also 3d also so now here most of the students are confusing little confused point here what is the point 3d electron shell wise representation see if you are feeling little difficult i am writing here shell wise representation to understand more better so one two three four shells this is first shell 1s 2s 2p and this is what 3s 3p 3d this is 4s 
4s electron they are not asking no this 3d electron means 4s electron no need to consider this 3d electron means one electron we no need to consider another electrons we have to consider now 3d electron i am going to calculate sigma equal to so write first better to write electronic configuration again here what is electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 shell wise i am writing shell wise 3d10 4s2 4s2 you no need to calculate this is a after 3d you know it is not screening it is not under calculation in the screening effect it e will not screen is outermost electron before electrons only screens no so that is why we have to consider now this is what guys 3d electrons they are asking 3d one electron this is nth shell this is n minus 1 this is what n minus 2 yes now you go back to the table what is the table drf orbital if electron is present in drf orbital what is the table i gave what is the value i gave 0.35 for n electrons 0.35 but n minus 1 n minus 2 what is the answer 1 only 1 only simple see here drf orbital d electron only we are calculating now so 0.35 n electron remaining all 1 so easy now try to calculate and try to give answer so totally how many electrons in the nth shell nth shell we have totally 18 electrons right 3s2 3p6 3d10 but 18 electrons in 18 electrons how many electrons we are going to calculate one electron okay now check it yes here totally 18 electrons right 2 plus 6 8 8 plus 10 18 electrons 18 electrons but we have to calculate for one electron screening constant now we are going to calculate for 17 electrons one we no need to consider for that electron only we are calculating so that's why you no need to take now n electrons so 17 into what is the table just now i showed 0.35 and simple guys remaining all n minus 1 n minus 2 so 8 into 1 and 2 into 1 that's all so finally what you will get answer 17 into 0.35 17 into 0.35 what is the answer 5.95 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 total 8 i am writing 8 plus 2 10 so what is the answer here 15.95 above screening constant 25.65 4s electron for 3d electron 15.95 see two electrons decrease three electrons decrease two electrons decrease no screening constant also decreased now now calculate z effect to equal to z minus sigma what is z here 30 minus 15.95 so what you will get answer 30 minus 14 something 14.95 so 30 minus 15.95 you will get answer 14.05 this is screening constant and jet effective for 3d electron in gen jet jink okay hope everybody clear this topic this is one of the important and the easiest topic in periodic classifications so okay guys in periodic classification seven to eight eight videos i have uploaded all videos you can go through it and prepare well periodic classification so thank you thanks for watching